Hey, hey, hey. So I just finished washing my hair. I am going to use the uh, Frizzy Frizzy Make Me Smile Soft Hair Gel to just do two pigtails. Uh, not two pigtails, but two um, braids on the side of my hair. So today I just really wanted to take this time to just show up and to say thank you. Uh, thank you for putting up with me <laughs> throughout this vlogmas season. Oh, by the way, my name is Sandy Esprit. I'm a content creator here on Instagram, at TikTok, YouTube, um, on most social, popular social media platforms, and the ones that I can handle anyways. Um, but yeah, uh, man, this vlogmas season has been fun. It's been fun, but chaotic. And so, um, looking back, I had to do, um, I just, you know, had uh, a lot to overcome and to uh, persevere through. A lot more than I, I expected or anticipated. I, I did not plan for um, my schedule to get weirdly, weirdly um, chaotic. And it did, of course. But it is what it is. And I, I am determined, highly determined to show up and to come through because um, that was a goal of mine. And I know I didn't um, come with the bang or end on the bang like I wanted to, but I, I did still show up. Okay, so I detangled my hair in the shower while there was still a deep conditioner in there. That's the reason why if you're like, whoa, her hair is like just detangling nicely. It, it's been pre-detangled. That's, that's all it is. Pre-detangled. It was under a towel. But yeah, to, this year was, um, looking back on the year, Oh yeah, if you guys hear background noise, it's it's my family that just came. So I'm just gonna do two side, and like I said, I'm using these guys. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, comment down below. Um, Frizzy Frizzy is one of those brands that I absolutely, absolutely love. I love what they stand for. Um, this gel here smells amazing. And um, but yeah, I've been blessed and fortunate enough that in my entrepreneurial journey, I have um, collaborated and uh, met amazing, amazing people. And I'm still meeting people. I find that I'm not, I'm not as scared anymore. Very much not as afraid to take risks like I used to be. And this, for me, that's like a huge win. Because this time last year, I'd be scared. I'd be scared of um, putting myself out there. Really, that's the big thing is the putting myself out there. I used to think that like I'd have to, I'd wait and it would fall on, all in my hands. That is not the case. A lot of the time, those huge opportunities for me, anyways, for me, those huge opportunities that has come my way, um, has been the result of a previous opportunity that I went and asked for. So it's very important. I'm one of those people I'm huge on showing up for myself as much as I credit my daughters for and my husband for being my backbone, my inspiration. I also know that at the end of the day, I am living my life. This this is my life. This is not my daughter's life. It's mine. And at the end of the day, I don't want to be that parent who blames their children or guilts their children into being um, this version of themselves that is inauthentic to them just because I chose to, um, just because of the choices I made, my lifestyle choices should not 
um, come at a cost to who they are and who God designed them to be. And I understand that this is a luxury and a privilege that I have, that my kids have. I understand that not everyone is able or has the capacity to live in that truth. And I am very much aware of that because, but a few, oh, but a decade ago, I would not be saying this. <laughs> and um, maybe even like five years ago, this is not an overnight. That's the thing too. This is not like something that just came to me as a result of an overnight epiphany. This has been years in the making. This has been like healing, <laughs> years of healing, years of reconditioning, years of studying, years of prayer. And I know that in order for, oh gosh, these sinuses, in order for me to um, be the best parent and best uh, wife, spouse to, and just really a good friend to those around me, I first have to do that for me. All right, braid one is completed. So for the holiday season, we, my family and I will be traveling. Look at that collarbone, pigtail, barely collarbone, I have to like drag it, but it's shrinkage. Shrinkage will have you looking like, you don't know what you're talking about. My hair is this long and shrinkage will be like, yeah, right. She thought, she thought we'd show up with the length retention. Shrinkage is shrinkage. If you know, you know. So anyway, I'm excited. Um, I've got a few, I've got some projects lined up. I have ideas as well as where I want to go. I've already created my vision board. I have the, um, I have already the word for me. That's for me. And um, I'm, I'm so excited. So excited for what's happening next year. So excited to take more, more uh, leaps and jumps. And I know that there's gonna be some no's. <laughs> I already know there's gonna be some rejection, but you know, but you know, with rejection is always a redirection. Sometimes the redirection is you gotta sit down and take breaks. <laughs> you gotta slow down, recalculate your steps, and sometimes the redirection is just an opening for a better opportunity. Because if you get stuck doing something that is not aligned with your destiny or maybe even the timing may not be aligned in terms of the trajectory of your destiny and you know yes. the appointed arrival at which you arrive at, at which you end up at that place it's just got to be a no sometimes i got to remember that though i got to remember i said that <laughs> cuz it's really nice to say and to um it's really nice to hear and to say it, you know, because it sounds all deep and wise. And, and when it's actually happening to you, you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, that, that's life is life again. Life is life again. And then uh, nothing. Yeah, then I'm not in the good space and all the bad things are happening. I don't like that. This gel is so lightweight and nice. Oh, my kid is not happy right now. Life is happening to her. She's literally like, oh, I'm happy. So, anyhow, that's, that's the idea. So, with that said, this upcoming season i will be traveling super excited super excited to go see my family this holiday season has honestly it's been really really good i think this is like one of the 
not the first time, but it's it's like I feel happy. Like I actually feel happy. I tried not to stress myself too much. I don't know if I was successful in that endeavor, but I did try. And so now I'm getting ready, getting my hair ready for travel, holiday, hair. <laughs> because I do not plan on um, doing anything crazy. Um, I hope I don't, I won't have to undo my hair and, um, you know, do another type of hairstyle. Ooh, got a snag there. So yeah, so that's going to be my holiday hair, just two braids, <laughs> two side braids that I can easily tuck the ends in. I got a soft hold styling gel. And the thing that I'm, I'm loving is I've got a routine down where it's uber lazy, but it fits me. I don't have to deal with excess, excess moisturizers and stuff like that. That's unnecessary. I still have to pack my clothes. That's the thing, like I always pack, I have the girls pack, the kids are always packed before me. For some reason, it's so much easier to be like, you're wearing this, you're wearing that. And then the baby, I just, pretty much throw the entire, her entire closet in her luggage. It's there, because you never know with kids. They're like always dirtying up something. So it's like, you always have to overpack their clothes anyways. Box of diapers already in the, the trunk. Mind you, she is one years old, but she isn't potty trained. So you never know how many diapers you can go through. That's the thing with babies. You, you just never know, even toddlers. So yeah. But aside from that, I got to pack my stuff. I don't know which makeup I will be taking with me, which makeup is staying down, um, which, yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Huh, these are like two different, I feel like these are two different lengths. It could be because of the way I braided it. One is more forward than the other. One has a poof here. Anywho, so that's my hair, that's done. I'm always trying to like bring it down, but there's really no need for all of that. <laughs> So, this is done. My hair is done. Um, thank you for chatting with me. Thank you for braiding my hair with me. <laughs> and so, this that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. By all means, click like, subscribe, comment down below. I hope you're having a great holiday season. And uh, uh, Merry Christmas Eve Eve. And I will see you guys next time. Ciao for now.